Hey, everybody, I'm sorry about that. Sorry I'm on here late. I was tired, y'all. I had took a nap, and I had took a nap, y'all, and I'm just not waking up. But I'm up now, up and doing my new diligence. Whew. Oh, y'all, I was just so tired. You know, when your body's tired, you got to start listening to your body. And I guess sometimes I don't really listen to my body. I just I just keep going on and going on and going on and doing what I, I want to do. Not thinking that, you know, this is going to hurt my body. You know? Excuse me, y'all. <coughs> yeah, so... It's been good though. Uh, I just wanted to get on here and see how everybody was doing. Uh, see how my YouTube fam was doing. Um, I can't wait till Wednesday come, y'all. Y'all know the uh, what did you call that thing with the basketball people, the basketball award or something. Or MVP, they always they got always something for something. Mm-hmm. Yeah, this morning I did the relationship thing. I don't know what I want to talk about tonight. Let me see. It's a lot to talk about in this world today, you know. But I don't know what I want to talk about. <clears throat> it's a lot though. I know. Uh, People just, you know, don't, um, I'm trying to figure out y'all what to talk about. I don't have no idea. That's shocking for me, y'all. I know. I'm always trying to figure out something to talk about. I'm always trying to think of something to talk about. I'm always got things to talk about, but I guess not today. Uh... But it is a uh, Monday, and you know, Monday, 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 Monday do Monday thing. Hmm. I guess it really. I mean, now that you think about it, hold on, y'all. I'm sorry, y'all. I'm bad. I was just looking at some things. Yeah, I wanted to know, how does it, how would you feel if, like, you didn't have no insurance and you, you sick and you need, you need to go to the hospital, you know, uh, you hurt yourself real, real bad, you know, you really did, you hurt yourself bad, but because you don't have no insurance, you need to. Uh, you can't go to the hospital. Do you think Vienna is crazy? Because I think that it's always that we have, we should have health care. And I think that it's important. But I look at, I've been looking at some things that we don't, we can't even go and um, To the hospital, us we can't even go to the dentist. We can't even do nothing. You know what I'm saying? To get the help we need. So I'm just looking at how is it that we we supposed to take care of our bodies? How is it that we supposed to take care of ourselves? You know what I'm saying? You know, it's almost like the rich get to go to the good the good hospitals, the good places, but we have to go to the county. I mean, do is everybody thinking that's, or is just me thinking that's crazy, or everybody just think that that's just the way life works? Because I think it should be a little bit better than that. Yeah, I think it should be a little bit better than that. I was, uh, I was just thinking, y'all. I mean, I mean, I don't know. I also, God, if y'all see me looking down at my phone, I got a, a, a Amber Alert, and it's about a, uh, uh, um, hold on, y'all. It was about, 
It was about the black shirt. I guess this guy of uh, Hispanic female twelve year old I guess um I wanna say was kidnapped, I guess. I'm not I'm not really sure. I'm trying to, to see and understand because the way they got it on here, it happened two days ago, y'all. I'm just not bringing y'all up to speed. I use the child of Brittany. I love to speed on what's going on. I'm going to see if I can go into my news and stuff or Twitter pages to see what's going on, y'all. Uh, I don't see it, but it was an Amber Alert. It, it, it was definitely that. Um, uh, dang, it's sad, 12 years old or uh, missing, these people be missing at 12 years old, that don't make no sense, what kind of, like I sit there and said before, what kind of world is, is, is this coming to, pedophiles, rapists, don't make no sense. Why y'all can't leave our young children alone? I don't know. It's, it's, it's madness. It's really madness. Y'all, I'm sorry about that noise. That was my phone. Should have turned it off. I'm sorry for y'all. Forgive me. I don't know if y'all, um, uh, uh, look, I'm going to say this. It may be hard, and it may be some people may thank God to understand, in other words. But I'm going to say this. You, as people, basically as a woman, have a respect to acknowledge another woman and to respect another woman in her wife, in her husband. Y'all, I'm trying. Help me understand. Why is it that you will go out to me? And, I, and I'm talking about this show. You know, y'all know my favorite show is Love and Marriage on Steel. So I'll be watching the news and watching stuff on YouTube sometime when I miss it. And they were just saying that Cherie from Real Housewives of Atlanta is, is currently dating Montel Hope. And I was just looking at myself. But do you know, it's not no surprise with her because she always they, uh pick the bad men and stuff like that. But uh, why would you go out to somebody that hurt another woman? Or better yet, why would you go out to somebody that really can't claim, that claim you or don't want to claim you? I, I want to say or have no new dealings of claiming you. I I, I I don't I don't get it. I don't understand. So they were seeing this and I was just like Cherie How about Cherie? Because it normally it's known and known that Melanie hangs in Atlanta, hangs out with her family in Atlanta and Montel goes to Atlanta. Everybody know Montel ain't. I'm putting it like that. He just, I mean, with all them types. Who would want a man anyway? 
the door is tight closed. Tight shirt, tight t-shirt, tight shorts. It's like he did his whole body just squeezing. You know what I'm saying, y'all? I'm like, mm, okay. But it, it, it kind of messed me up. Yeah. Um, and I also wanted to talk about, I just seen it on the news, you know, that we had a wildfire. But I guess I can understand why we had a wildfire. Because it's hot. You know what I'm saying? It be hot outside. I remember one time we had a wildfire and it was really hot and it was like a hundred and some degree. It got to a hundred and ten, maybe a hundred and twenty. <coughs> but yeah, that was years ago. So I'm not gonna talk about that. But what I am gonna talk about is that it says right here we do have a wildfire. And it looked like it I wanna say here in Dallas. Oh or it surrounds my houses or something. Uh, oh, it's around Texas AAM, I think. Yeah, yeah, I didn't turn it on the news and check that out. You know, it looked like it burned down some houses, I think. Um, from what I see, I'm not sure. Oh, oh yeah, it looked like it don't touch some houses. Oh my god, it's sad. Oh my god, I hope it, you know, everybody okay. I hope there, there was no. Or uh, people hurt. So, oh yeah, they're on the phone with the reporter now. So, yeah, I hope I hope there there, there wasn't no people hurt. Oh my God, that is so sad. Well, I'm gonna get off of here for right now, y'all. Uh, I hope y'all been staying cool. Uh, and continue to stay prayed up. I love y'all.